what are the customers demanding in terms of uh, perimeter security? Number one, reliability. This is the key thing. Um, and that's, that's, that's always been our forefront and our focus is to provide a reliable solution. You know, early warning is the other thing as well. It's desirable to detect somebody when they're outside, of course. This is what people really, really want. But we have to get over that hurdle of the expectation from the customer is that it may false alarm and then if someone continues to false alarm, they'll switch it off. That's not good for anybody. It's not good for us. It's not good for the end user. So we have to drive towards um, the most effective solution. Now, a couple of years ago, we would see uh, just a fence alarm or just a camera with a video analytic in it. Today, it's a combination technology because the market has realized that it's, it's changing from adapting to environmental conditions, adapting to different types of threats, taking drones as a countermeasure today. We've also seen drones being used for penetration into facilities as well, both for hacking and for visual uh, uh, operations. How has the market changed during the last couple of years? So it's definitely changed. So uh, we've gone more and more to high, high uh, technology uh, uh, solutions. Radar has developed a lot uh, and uh, also video uh, surveillance. So uh, it's been for the last 10 years or more, we had video analytics where we've used video analytics to, to see if you know it's a person or a dog or, or a bird that's getting into the area. But one of the problems with, with that has been that there has been tons of false alarms. Now with uh, artificial intelligence, uh, you can actually take away uh, all the false alarms and, and, and get a lot more accuracy. So that's one of the biggest areas where, where we've seen development. There are so many different technologies for perimeter security. Um, is there one solution or do you need to combine them? No, there is not one solution that fits all sites or all constraints. Uh, a typical perimeter security solution needs to be engineered and designed depending on the uh, constraints of uh, each and every site. So whether it is a sloppy site, whether you have a hard weather, hot weather, warm weather, sandstorms, or a, a physical human uh, industrial activity next to it, you may want to go to one technology or another. Uh, obviously, um, you need to combine parameter security with high-end sensors that provide reliable information for the CCTV system to be able to video confirm what is, uh, what is happening. So I don't see I don't see any reason why in the future you would be using only CCTV. First of all, perimeter protection is you have the outer, outside the perimeter as such. But the big growth that we see in the market is the big area, so the area inside. And to be able to do that, you probably would like to set up maybe thermal cameras on the outer uh, perimeter and the inside area could be a radar, for example. And you want, you want these different technologies to, to work together. Uh, and, and that's what we're talking about, different type of sensors that are aligned. Do you think cameras will take over the whole market for perimeter security? Yes, I actually think they will. There will always be some certain specific customers whose demands are kind of specific for, for, for their environment. But otherwise, cameras today, you always need a picture to verify what, what kind of intrusion you have. So yes, I think cameras will take over in the future. Will camera have an increasing role? I think it will uh, when we start to use more of, of artificial intelligence, but only to a, a certain extent. Because uh, let's take, even though you have a fantastic uh, uh, analytics around, uh, you take a drone or a bird, you, you can make a drone look like a bird or, or, or something like that. So you can fool the systems uh, uh, one way or the other. So I, I don't think that any of these solutions will be 100% the only one and the others dis disappear. 